Welcome back to uh, some more tech tips from Varnberg Implement. We're going to teach you how to operate the Dyna 4 transmission and some of the extra added features in it. This is actually a 5613 here, uh, but it'll work on the 6615, Dyna 4, and others. We're going to jump inside and we're going to show you what all the functions of the dot matrix screen on the dash panel is. Now that we're inside the tractor, we can see our dot matrix screen here on the left-hand side of the console. But I want to show you the control buttons. The control buttons are going to be down here on our little keypad right on the right-hand side of the column. You've got your up button, down button, left button, and right button on the four-way keypad. This is home key, this is the OK key, and this is the cycle key. These keys are going to be used in different screens to help you get through them and adjust the menu system to make it easier for you to operate your tractor. It's, I'm going to focus the camera more on our dot matrix screen than the keypad, but I will explain what I'm doing. That way you can see what's actually happening. We've got the tractor in, this, in the on position so we can see that. The first recommendation is to get your good old-fashioned operations manual. This thing is packed full of a lot of information that's really going to help you. And in the 5600, in the current operator's manual, if you go to page 133, there is this dash control center, control screens, and we're just basically going to go through this for you. But if you follow this, these screens here, you can see the screens are going to be displayed in the dash control center. There's a lot of different options. And it's going to vary on the version of 5600 that you purchased, what you may have available to you. There is a classic version, a deluxe version of the 5600 series. And when you get into the 6600 series, we're going to have a classic deluxe and a premium option. So you may have more features than other versions, but we're going to go through, this is a 5613 classic that we're going to use for the demonstration purpose this morning. The first screen is going to show our, up in our left hand corner, we can set our RPMs, engine RPMs. We can, we have displayed our takeoff speed for forward direction and our preset takeoff speed for reverse direction. If you want to change your takeoff, you're going to push the clutch pedal in, move the T-handle lever into the forward position and you push both the T-handle on the right and the forward lever forward and you see it changes to 1B to 1C, 1D. You heard that beep, that means that we are in the turtle mode. Neutral position and push the orange button, it's going to change to the rabbit. But we're going to stay in turtle mode because I'm going to show you how to change the forward speed. You push the button in and you push both forward and you will see that it went to two on that. If you want to say the reverse, you move the T-handle back and you can adjust the reverse direction opposite of the forward direction. Like here we're 2B and 2A. That would be a nice takeoff speed for a good loader work. We're gonna start from there. The next function, we're going to hit the right arrow on our keypad and go to our next screen. This is our shuttle modulation screen. Basically, it's going to be the aggressiveness of the transmission. You can see down at the bottom, if you want to change the forward, you're going to use the up arrow. So we're going to adjust the responsiveness of both the forward and reverse to what level. You have many different levels from minus five to positive five. We're just gonna set this one halfway in between. That way you've got a nice smooth transition. This is how you can smooth your transmission out for the aggressiveness of it. But if you wanna do the reverse, you're going to do it just like we did our preset and you hit the down arrow is just going to set the reverse portion of it so you can make the forward and reverse different smoothnesses between transition. 
the next one is the adjustment of the power shift you see the plus and minus and we're going to use the OK key down at the bottom to adjust it so this is going to allow us to smooth that when we hit from go from A to B how how aggressive that is that's the three adjustments that you're able to do with this screen in the dot matrix in the dash control center the next screen is our transmission setting screen the, the first one is the it shifts to neutral when it's below 650 rpm so you come back down you, 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 you pull the tractor down to 650 rpms or below and it's going to shift the transmission out to prevent stalling if you want to change that you would use the up arrow and shift between those the next one is auto neutral this is a really neat feature for those guys that are round bailing or stopping the tractor often if you use the OK key you can turn it on when you push this button and apply both brakes it shifts the, it takes the transmission out of gear so like if you're round bailing the buzzer goes off to tie you push both brakes it'll stop the transmission when you let off of them the transmission will continue back at the speed that you had preset so set your ground speed that you want to bail at hit both brakes tie the bail when you get done tying the bail let both brakes off and bam you're back to the speed you're traveling no no declutching no moving the shuttle lever one simple push of the foot and you're rock and rolling and bailing more hay it's going to make you more efficient and less fatigued during the day the next screen is our function upper and lower limits this basically tells the tractor how fast you want the engine speed upper limit so you're going to use your sv controls your rotary dials on your right hand console or on your armrest depending on version you can rotate it and you can see the speed change up there so i'm going to set my maximum engine speed with sv1 and then I'm going to choose, you can choose a minu, minimum engine speed. And then you can set a time, you can set a, a trigger with it, which is down at the bottom. Time, PTO, three-point hitch. That's basically that screen for you. This is basically the fuel counter screen. It's going to show you uh, daily fuel use from the last reset, total fuel use, um, it also has a DEF counter and diesel flow rate per hour. So you can watch your efficiency of your Massey Ferguson in action with this screen. If you have a loader connected to this tractor, one of the Massey Ferguson loaders, there's different functions that you can add with the loader. This screen allows you to activate um, front end loader suspension like soft drive or to lock and unlock snap attached so you don't have to get out to move the lever if you have that hydro snap option on your tractor this is settings for a and b stored engine speeds you can use the sv1 and sv2 to set preset engine speeds we can see it see it here moving up and down And then this is where you can set the maximum engine speed that the engine operates at, which is the third level down there. If you set this to 1200, the engine will never go over 1200 RPMs. So this will limit performance if you have this set incorrectly. So you, what I like to do is recommend setting the maximum upper limit to full engine RPMs that way you can get full functionality of your Massey Ferguson tractor and then the last one is is a basically modulation of how aggressive how fast that engine RPMs changes and you can change that with the OK key down here you can make it really smooth transition up or you can change the aggressiveness of it most people want quick response from their throttle this screen here is if you're using 
the trigger with the engine speed for three point you can have this set a trigger like down trigger and how many seconds this is your rear linkage hydraulic priority screen this is kind of an important one if you're doing three point and hydraulic work at the same time what it's going to do is it's going to give pro which way it's going to give priority to the hydraulic flow so if you when you hit the three point button you want it to activate so what I recommend is to run it up because you're going to want to give priority to that three point when you push the button um, normally I'll run it up in the, the 70 80 percent range to start off because if you're wanting to use a three point function you're wanting to do it like three point in the loader you can fine tune this so disperses the oil to the three point and the remote valve at the percentages you would like to make a smooth fast operation of your machine this is our rear PTO engine automation screen if you can set up a engine speed when you turn the PTO on what it's going to operate at this is auto drive pedal mode this allows you to select what speeds the pedal mode pedal mode allows you to drive the tractor very similarly to how a car operates we're going to use maximum speed in this situation that way we've got max pedal you the harder you push the pedal the 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 maximum engine speed and the, and the maximum forward speed can be attained but you could set say you're picking up hay and you don't need the maximum engine speed you could set an engine speed here this is basically a diagnostic screen the first screen is going to tell you when your next service interval you can see where a, a 50 hour service interval is our next trigger to tell us that we need to service this tractor when this when this service needs to be done and after completion you can reset this and it will go to the next service interval that is required on the tractor as a reminder to take care of your Massey Ferguson so it lasts longer line down is the battery voltage the next one is the engine temperature and the last one is the transmission temperature this is our second diagnostic screen this one's going to tell our diesel fuel level and our urea level and if you had pneumatic braking it would have braking level here also then the last screen is our brightness and contrast you can change the brightness and the contrast of the screen to match your level that you need and now we're back to the home screen we can see we got auto neutral on there is one other thing on your right hand console you can adjust between joystick mode and foot pedal mode when you see foot pedal mode you're going to see the engine rpms the foot pedal sign and we've got dynamic tractor management that tells us our engine speed level that we're going to have associated with that transmission operation I hope that helped you little, learn a little bit more about the Dash Control Center and how to operate it and the functions that are available. Consult your operator's manual and get more out of your tractor by learning all the great features of the new 5600 series and 6600 series Dyna 4 transmission from Massey Ferguson. It's truly a unique transmission, easy to operate, less fatigue, smooth, dependable, reliable and it's going to help make you more money out on your farm and make your days easier thank you for tuning in to this uh, edition of some tech tips from varnberg implement and consult your local massey ferguson dealer and get one for you today isn't this the ultimate loader tractor look at how easy it is to see over that high-vis hood